All right, guys, today we are going to identify and iron out the issues that Optic Chicago is having in Respawn. I am seeing some disrespectful slander to Optic Chicago's name and the players around this roster, and it's rubbed me the wrong way. I need to say something real quick. Guys, it is not easy being a pro team, and it is not easy being Optic Ch Chicago and having everybody root for you guys to win and then the backlash that happens when you lose and when you're trying to figure things out it is extremely difficult and i know that this happens in sports to some of the best teams in the world but you guys have to understand that this is a process this is a struggle for some of these guys to figure out and you guys need to chill chill the hell out man this is crazy what i'm seeing on on reddit i mean i think i've seen like 20 different posts i'm gonna go through some of these because if i'm a, if i'm still a player i'm looking at these as fuel and I mean, I'm I'm not even on a player and I'm seeing this and it's getting me like fired up. Like these guys are putting in their hours, sweat and tears trying to get better, man. This is not an easy job to do. Uh, this is this is tough. It's tough. I was a pro player for years and I've been on teams that have been struggling. I've been on teams that have been trying to figure it out and it takes time. Sometimes you go back, you're trying to figure things out and you, you know, you sort of screw with your own minds. Uh, you start to play a little bit too perfect and it messes you up. So. I need you guys to watch this video, really soak in what I'm saying and, um, and 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 figure out what the actual issue is other than just making bold claims like you know what's going on or that you're a Twitter or a Reddit analyst because nobody likes that person. But let's just go through some of these posts real quick. So Stage Tree Optic, obviously this is kind of a meme. Uh, this one was kind of funny. Uh, you just read some of the posts and everybody's, they, they never play together, et cetera. They say all these fluff and basic things. Um, Optic has just been behind the top teams in the fundamentals department since World War II. I wouldn't say that. I mean, that's a little bit delusional to say just because I've seen them have the fundamentals on point, especially in the beginning of the year, their fundamentals were fine. Just in search and destroy, they were off. And that was not fundamentals that they were off on. That was adjustments and things that they fixed. And their search has been better since then. Uh, but those are advanced things. Um, and honestly, the things that they aren't that good at are really some of the more advanced things in the game. It's not actually just fundamentals because fundamentally they understand how to play. There's just certain things that are actually complex on the map that they're not accomplishing right now. Another one is this where Optic plays this is Burger Road. I mean, this is disrespect. I mean, I get it. It's funny. Uh, brick by brick, a live look at the green wall. Yeah, I mean, at least somebody said it. Uh, Legos and whatever. Yeah, okay. Uh, these are the stats from the series. This is a general post. Uh, Clay really got himself a French tip. Yeah, Hydra was playing really well. I got to give him a shout out. Um, hard to watch Optic nowadays. They look more and more mediocre every match. I mean, they're trying to figure it out, man. Uh, I, I, I get it. I, these players, dude, I, I couldn't even imagine opening Reddit and seeing this stuff. It would, this would get me so mad. Uh, Scump 1.05, Formal 0.93, Envoy, Envoy 0.93, Dashy 0.82. Um, Skump and Optic are acting. Season four is gonna go land setup. Uh, I don't think they're acting like that at all. I think they're putting in a ton of work. I think they're working really hard, um, and they're trying out different things, and it's just not working. Um, all right, Apocalypse. Let's see. Okay, whatever. I don't even know. They're just. Yeah. Okay. Apocalypse. I get it. Uh, these dash takes aren't aging really well. I think this is the you gotta shoot Clay's body oh, next time. where he talks about Clay. Okay, yeah, Dashy should not have done that. That was disrespectful to Clay. Uh, Optics respawn is broken, and this is why. Let's see what this guy says. I can't stand watching super talented teams play garbage cod and need to make this post to vent my frustrations with these guys after watching them get smoked yet again by NYSL. They need a complete mentality change in how they approach respawn. This is what's going wrong with them, in my opinion setups i could go through and show how each and early setup they have at hills is dog shit but quite frankly that would be a waste of time as it wouldn't as it would take too long a couple examples from today p2 moscow is abysmal they have a normal setup of someone in police and the other three helping around the hill but they turtle up way too much and allow teams to basically group up and fly at them all at once essentially all this does is ensure that any og player will spawn out if they die instead these guys have to be pushing out further at least sit in spots that guarantee one kill to help kill teammates and clean up the rest they got broken twice the exact same way and it's happened in every other match as well okay so we'll go look at that but essentially what this guy's saying is optic is trapping themselves on p2 on rotation which couldn't be fine if you can't get pushed up into the right spot on the rotation you can trap yourself on p2 and you can make great plays from the hill while spawning them in the back so i actually don't know if he just doesn't know what he's talking about or if or if what he's saying is consistently happening so i have to go back and fact check this one 
P3 is another example. They held it great on second rotation only because Formo was shitting on New York in the back, but he didn't have any help. It seems like they need somebody to play for info, pushed outside further, pushed outside the hill further so that he can communicate where teams are coming from. Because right now they're relying on one player to just watch a single spot and hope he doesn't get melted by a team push before calling out. Uh, their pace of play is unacceptably be slow and it feels like as though they are overthinking these maps final on moscow they rotate earlier three players going all the way around good but then they sit in the back office waiting forever instead of flying at clay right as the hill pops up and possibly giving two decent pushes at breaking that is not playing that's not them playing slow and i will actually get into that because you're completely incorrect here um there's something that optic is consistently doing here i'll just say it now because these things get me so mad because this guy like really thinks that he knows how to come in and, and like fix them and because they, they understand they understand what they're doing wrong they're just not executing it properly and it'll take some time before they figure it out but basically like i remember that exact play where they all go around the back on p3 moscow and they're trying to break it the issue with what optic is doing in hardpoint when they're trying to break these hills is they're not giving multiple looks from different angles so when you all go around right there right new york is set up they're not thinking about what the other team sees on their map so as they're going around they're like okay we got to hit the back because we got to get these spawns so we got to send everybody back there because we all need help well, no, in New York is watching the front and they're watching gold and they have a guy placed in the back somewhere, right? So while you're checking all these corners going around the back and wasting all this time on your rotation, trying to get to your one flawless break, New York is identifying that that is the only place that you can be coming from. So for Optic, rather than all going around the back, they need to send people through gold and through elbow, clearing that out and start to give looks and start to give distraction towards elbow. And as you get into those scuffles, into those fights, you have to collapse onto the hill into the spawn. So you send one, maybe two guys through around the back there, one guy through elbow and that guy through elbow has to get a kill or get into a fight and distract the attention that way clay can't run up and shoot them in the back or that way the guy in the back is in a one-on-one -on -one versus formal and formal wins that fight or maybe formal loses that fight and skump wins his fight elbow and then they collapse and they get into the hill and then the final guy that's coming front can come in for the final cleanup and spawn them out right so you get two different options you either break from that elbow or you break from that back or you get a kill and you get into like this sort of crazy back and forth where you start to take some of that time away from the other team so for optic it's like they overcorrected and they tried to play for the spawn so hard that they put themselves to a situation where a smart team is going to identify that and trap them and hit them from another angle so that is the actual issue and it's not a thing about pace or slow or anything like that whatsoever and i've seen a lot of people saying that they're playing extremely slow which is this is not the case it's just the decision making is not there and the attack onto the hill is not there so We'll get into the game and we'll watch and, and see exactly what's going on. But look, I got to go through somebody smoking on that Chicago pack. Like, geez, man, this is just this is just brutal, dude. You guys are you guys have no remorse, man. Hey, Optic, maybe time for a change. No, it's not time for a change. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. OK, everybody knows what the definition of insanity is. No, man, it's not time for a change. Optic can still figure it out. They have an extremely talented roster. This notion that you have to make a change is crazy when it comes to these top top teams they can do it they have a great roster and i'm not gonna call on them to make a change because we've seen them dominate respawns with this team so it's not like they cannot do it it's that they're not doing it right now so i'm not gonna call on them for a change because they could make a change and very well be way worse right so and also who are you going to change on this team it'd be really difficult to move some pieces around and then you're going to bring a guy into a team after first of all there's not even that many players available out there that can really fit the mode of optic because if i'm gonna replace somebody on this team i would probably replace dashi if i really had to and that would just be crazy to do because of the amount of talent that dashi has and the reason that i would replace dashi would be not because of talent whatsoever it'd be because of decision making on the map um yeah i i just don't i i, I don't think it's time for change i think this is crazy and then welcome to 100 point optic 100 point club optic where this was a close game and it got out of hand so anyways let's get into the game guys um so they realize they're gonna have to hold from this side now and they're getting picked they're doing as good of a job they can so for me formal should have went into this building almost just stayed alive there that's like prioritizing their life so, so far the people are talking about pacing issue whatever i don't see what you're saying this form, formals definitely should have played his life but envoy now getting into that position so they could have locked this hill down in rotation if formal plays this building they get a guy inside of the hill they get another guy that goes here and they have another guy that pushes up into here and they're basically like they'd be set up right now right but instead formal stays around this card he dies just kind of feels like he's kind of lost like they don't really know the position they should be going to you maximize your time by doing that 
and then eventually if formal's in this building they get a kill or two they're gonna spawn them out right like as, as these guys get towards mid if formal picks up kills those guys are gonna spawn out Without a doubt, it has been a very closely contested HP to start this one. This is where you want them to spawn. So, like, Optic needs to understand what their goal is on certain hills and execute it. Like, the goal on this hill should be to spawn them here, Temple. So, if you're coming from here and you have a guy over here, your goal while that last hill is functioning is to kill them back here and give them that spawn, right? It's like, guys, I'm in the back. As soon as Formal says, I spawn in the back, I'm in the, bu I'm in the back building, I'm in the back TV, whatever they call it. I'm top ladder they should be like, oh formal stop ladder all right i'm gonna start to move and as soon as they get towards mid as informal's picking up kills they should be swimming right there and they should all be acknowledging that that's just something that be be something that they're going over now they finally did that right and let me just show you guys so you know i'm not crazy that i'm spitting facts here of the map they could have done that so you can see right now like as they're getting kills like in this area of the map look where they spawn as optics right here so they're not they didn't even have to be all around the map they had a guy right here now look back on rotation guys so you know i'm not crazy like these are simple goals to have in the map uh, go gotta go back more but look look formal's back here right now like form formal's chilling he's doing his thing right and this guy's pushing up mid so formal's back here he could be in this building now as optic gets towards mid here right formal's in the safe formal goes into this building and this guy starts to push up so like right now i'd be like this guy can abandon this time you gotta start thinking new start to push through here and you can get a nice setup like just not executing properly i don't know what their plan is so let's move it by one so formal gets one and now formal gets two huge bailout big play but they get the spawns in the back you guys see what i'm saying different looks at the same time it's collapsing simultaneously what i would have liked to see right there is the guy that swanned out. I'd like to see him go through here and pinch and collapse at the same time. He gets into an initial challenge. The rest of them collapse at once. You can possibly break that hill, right? That's what I would have liked to see an optic do. But instead, they send one guy challenge first, another guy challenges L, and then another guy challenges here. And then this guy who's coming around the back challenges last. And then New York gets this one in the back. Big, big, big mistake. I can't stress that enough how big of a mistake that was at optic because those breaks have to be cleaner if you send this guy over here he comes from even if there's a guy in the heady premium and he gets in that fight that's redirecting at least one one person's attention right then the guy through elbow comes through he challenges the, as the guy challenges from inside a chicken coop bang you get two challenges at once if one of them wins a gunfight it helps tremendously the next guy comes in gets into a fight maybe he kills the guy that's challenging the guy up here you collapse you spawn them out and you hold control and that is what optic needs to do better teamwork in those scenarios man somebody has to take command and take the helm so now they spawn out they get this last you know scrap time that keeps them in the game because they did well on the hill down here and now they're going to get smoked on this hill because this is a very difficult break so here we go let's go around this so if I'm in the back here and I'm Clay, right? And I'm Mac, what do I want? I want every single player. I'm like, okay, I'm holding the back. I have ARs. My hands are going like this. I'm like, I want them all to chow the back right now so I can get a clean wave, swan them out and hold this hill down. If I'm optic right here, I'm like, okay, what do we need to do? We need to get to this hill. We need to get time. We need to get spawns. We need to set up. So my plan of action would be this. In our current state, in our position, I would have Dashy peeking just how he's doing, trying to get info back here. I'd have a guy coming through elbow and maybe I'd have, I'd have a guy jiggling right here, trying to give looks in the back and pick this guy because there's typically a guy back here, right? So it's number seven, but I'd have this guy have options, right? So I'd have him peek first, doesn't see anything. And then if he does see something and calls it out, I'm jumping out and challenging it. If he does see something, takes a gunfight and wins it. Okay, we're in a great spot, right? We get the back, we get the back swans, whatever. If he see something but he can't win the gunfight he leaves it to dashy to win it and number five which is scump to win it and get the back and then he hits the front and creates a distraction and then number eight his job should be to 100 hit the front or just make an adjustment depending on what goes down right now so as these things go down number eight should be deciding if he wants to go to the back and help them in the back and get these spawns or hit the front and hold and waste time so they get a chance and another push so let's see what optic does so he does that he jiggles the back on the tree on the tree on the tree and he dies to Clayser. How did he die to the guy on the tree? Let me go back and relook at that. Because, okay, on the tree, on the tree, on the tree. So he wide peaks and dies, mistake number one. And then Dashy gets two piece. So there we go. So if Envoy finesses there for one more second, 
he actually gets that kill in a way better spot, right? So now, number eight, Chow's the back and finally kills him because Matt comes in for the help and then they get cleaned up with the four. So that being said, that guy, the last guy could have went front Envoy plays his life, jiggles that. It is valuable, guys. They're not valuing those sort of things. Not a pacing issue. It's just understanding their goal on these breaks. So now they're in a spot where they're in the blender. They have to hit front. Here we go. They've got put in the blender last two hills. Game's still winnable, though. Hey, you're not gonna break. You're not gonna break this. I mean, this is just. I don't even know what they're trying to do here. They're just trying to push them further back into that spawn. We don't have to kill this guy. Oh, you're talking about the back. All right, so here we go. P2 Temple. Remember what happened last time when it got to this hill? Didn't go that great. So let's see. So Optic here on rotation. Why is Dashi not helping the back here, right? So Dashi takes a shortcut, jumps over. What happens here? Takes a one-on-one, -on -one, dies. And now Skump is alone in the back on rotation. This isn't slow pace. They're playing the right pace. And Skump gets taken out in a 1v1. Why not? So like here, here's the thing. You have two options here on the rotation here. If you spawn up late, right, and you start to double back, it might be a little bit too late to get all the way around Temple. So it's a decision that you have to make as a team. Do we play tight here and give them that area and pick them off and soak up all this mid time because we're down, which is what they could have did. They could have had a guy sit back here like Skump is. They could have had a guy hold this angle here, one guy in the hill. Like you could do a multitude of things here and then hopefully the kills fall into your hands as New York realizes there's nobody back here. We have to collapse in the hill. Maybe you get the kills and then you get the spawns, right? Or you send multiple people to the back here and try to scare these spawns. But instead, you do the one option that you should not do, which is split your push, send a guy over elbow and one guy to the back and give Hydra an extremely talented player two one-on-one -on -one gunfights when he has the advantage, by the way. So Hydra had the advantage in both those gunfights, wins it, and now they lose spawns. And then you get taken out. You know what I mean? Their goals are off. Identifying what you need to do there depending on the time that's left on the hill. So let's see the actual optimal decision that they could have made on rotation here. So since they invested so much into that last hill, right? right, And they killed a couple guys and they spawned out. What Naturally, what is New York going to be trying to do? So as you're getting those kills, so Skump got one, then Envoy got one. These guys are spawning here, right? So what, what, what naturally, what is New York going to do? Optic should be realizing this in real time. Bang, okay, New York's going to be trying to rotate around and get spawns P2, understandably. Okay, they're probably, the spawn is in chicken coop, so they're probably going to get here quick. So what happens? So why would I jump over this and challenge this? I'd rather play tight from the hill right here if I had to, if I'm dashy and pre-aim this, or I'd rather go to the back or play this truck here. There's multiple things that you can do. Play this truck here, sit a guy on the hill, have another guy here, and then have him hold chicken coop. You can do that, or you can just stack the back and get the kills. Now, I think I would have probably, optimal play, I would have stacked the back there and tried to secure those spawns while holding this time simply because it's just what you want. You want Temple. So now they're getting chained. You could see how many mistakes they've made so far. They're in the blunder now, man. Now they're forced to hit this over and over because they're down so much or they're going to end up losing Temple. It's just such a tough spot, man. I know they're better than this too. Also, guys, I know I'm really talking from an optic lens, but New York is doing a fantastic job executing all their setups, hitting the right pinches, being the right amount of distraction. I mean, just uh, you point at any point. Look at what Clay's doing right now on this rotation. This is gorgeous. I mean, optic isn't even close to the hill yet, and, and he's already soaked up like 10 seconds of time by distracting them over there giving this team different looks now optics in a great spot look at that man it's just gorgeous what new york is doing one guy spawns out he's all the way up pushed up <laughs> formal gets the kill and now look at this look at where optic is spawning this is crazy how, how well that new york is playing and there's just not much optic can really do right now i mean this is literally the blunder this hill's one of the hardest hills to break in the game yeah, I mean, at this point, they're just trying to win huge gunfights, and it's like, okay, we got to rotate. They probably feel like they're about to lose this. I look at this difference on rotation compared to what New York did when it rotated towards this hill. They're dying one by one. They had, they didn't have a guy down low. Look how late the optic was here to get down low, and this could be because it's late in the game. And they're getting very really frustrated, but you have to be here early. There's just split push. 
split setup dash not getting any looks up top he's like confused as to what's going on you have to get a guy down low there earlier or a guy pushed up to here to be a nuisance no nuisance players are there's no nuisance play on this map right now for optic and that's basically the game i'm not even gonna criticize these last final moments because the mistakes have been made i hope this opened your guys eyes though as to what they're doing wrong like it was a lot but it's fixable man they have to go back to the vld and formulate plans and reactions to certain things on the map otherwise it's never ever ever gonna work and you know this video will be freaking 45 minutes long if i don't you know wrap this up but uh there's a play here that i wanted to illustrate for you guys at the very end of this game um that happens on this rotation yeah that i you know i covered in that reddit post but here we go optic chicago i get what they're trying to do that's all about what gotta get the back spawns for next hill last ditch effort like new york is 30 seconds away from winning i get the it okay. this, i understand what they're tight. trying to do they're checking Hopefully every corner checking the bus across checking across it all giving a look l this is beautiful this is what you're supposed to do here now look new york meanwhile after taking this long route around they've identified where they're coming from scump gives a look there number seven what are you doing right so number seven should still be actively trying to fight elbow going through gold here doing stuff he gives clay the ability to push all the way up there wins this gunfight it's just i don't agree with it instead of taking the gunfight from here he should have went through gold and been a distraction here and tried to win it and not give clay the liberty to be able to do that right because scump had some good shots he, he had some good shots on the guy back here he made a weak formal could have come in and maybe get a trade if envoy comes through here uses individual talent and gun skill wins this fight onto clay they have an ability to break here because then they have number eight who can come through the front and maybe chow the gunfight and he'll win that fight as these guys have their attention directed on the back so like the idea is there but it's just not being executed properly right you guys see you guys saw what i'm saying right there there's different things that they can do you see what i'm saying it's things that other teams do so let's go back like right here number seven go through gold here right give a look towards elbow like Optic. instead he goes through Next. here traps himself Second gives clay so this lane like clay's a smart player he's gonna pick up on this so that scump goes to the back look at this guys so scump injures that guy prior to that formal can come in and maybe get a trade number eight can challenge the hill and they can make it a battle but right here there's just no battle you get taken out and you lose the game and that just illustrates what i'm saying there are plans on how to break they're not there with all that being said, I still think Optic has potential to be one of the best teams in the game. They have to figure out these issues that they have going on. And you guys, a lot of you guys, I won't say everybody, have no idea what goes into being a pro player and how difficult it is when you're having issues and you're trying to figure it out and you're working on it day in and day out. You can get into the cycle. I call it the loop where you're just continuously making these mistakes and you don't even know why on your own team these things are happening. In practice, it's working, but in matches, it isn't man it's frustrating guys so and when you guys are criticizing them please be reasonable don't be just blatantly disrespectful i get some things are funny and i actually have a laugh at some of the things but when optic lose it, their fan base gets absolutely insane and it, it was stressing me out so i thought i'd make this video maybe open your guys eyes a little bit and i hope it was helpful either way thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like i'll come back with more content but for now this has been the breakdown see you guys next video oh they're all looking